Hi everyone, it's Thea here, just here to spill some more tea for you guys, and this time it's about Kylie Jenner. I'm here today to expose that there is trouble brewing in Kylie Cosmetics. If you're watching this video, then you probably already know who Kylie Jenner is. Kylie Jenner was made famous by her famous family on the show Keeping Up with the Kardashians, which was primarily about the Kardashian family and their extended family and friends. She was featured on the show since the beginning and was only a very small kid at the time that the show started. She has since then become a billionaire and a mother of two. She made most of her money from a cosmetics deal that she did with her cosmetics line and she sold it to a another company. She also has a boyfriend, an on-again, off-again boyfriend who she shares the two kids with, Travis Scott, and there's a lot of controversy surrounding him as well. And the rest of her family, you might know because they're extremely famous too, Kim Kardashian or Kim Kardashian West. I believe it's Kim Kardashian now. She changed her name back after the divorce. Kourtney Kardashian, Khloe Kardashian, Rob Kardashian, Chris Jenner, who is her manager, Caitlyn Jenner, and Kendall Jenner. She also has, I believe, one other sister and a few brothers via her dad's side. But we're here today to talk about the trouble brewing in the Kylie cosmetics world. So I've been hearing and noticing, because I do notice a lot of things, and I have done a lot of research about it, and a lot of people are saying that there is trouble brewing in the Kylie Cosmetics world. So Kylie Cosmetics is not doing well at the moment. And that's why you may have noticed that they're always putting items on sale. They're always putting, like, they're always taking out new lines, trying to keep it fresh, trying to keep it new, because people are not buying Kylie Cosmetics anymore. People are not interested in this brand. The brand loyalty is like zero basically not not zero but you know what i mean it's kind of going downhill because people are noticing it's not a great quality brand and it was all about the name and people initially bought into this brand because they wanted lips like kylie jenner and people are realizing the only way that you get lips like kylie jenner is to buy them like kylie jenner has bought them by using fillers in your lips and there's no product on the kylie cosmetics line that is going to actually give you fuller, bigger lips. It's just not going to happen. No matter how much lip liner or like lip stick or lip gloss or whatever you use, it's not going to make a difference. So after noticing that and after the initial buzz of a few years, things have steadily been going downhill rapidly. And in order to keep people like motivated to buy they keep putting new lines out and putting sales like sales on the new lines that they have out so like nearly about every week or every month you see new products coming out or like a new kind of like theme because they want you to stay interested and the only way they're doing this is by you know price reductions and by taking out new items for sale but not just for sale but new new packaging that's another thing Fans are noticing that they're just using the same products but packaging them differently. So they'll have like a lip kit and package it differently and put that out saying it's kind of like a new, acting like it's not like a new product, but acting like it's a new thing. And it's the, it's the latest new, you know, product line that they have out. But it's not really because it's just different packaging, but the same products because I don't even feel like they can keep churning out all this all these products because they don't if they're not doing well in sales and they have to put a lot of money into advertising and into production they can't really cover the cost of advertising and production if they're not getting the sales so i'm sure that's why they're just putting the same products in different packaging because they could probably cover the cost of packaging better than they can cover the cost of you know creating the products and a lot of people are saying that Kylie Cosmetics is downsizing rapidly as well. So they are using less, they're basically using less advertising. They are cutting on down on factories and on workers. They're cutting costs wherever they can because it's kind of become a huge like money draining 
machine. And the company that bought Kylie Cosmetics is definitely regretting it at this point. But I want to know what you guys think about this whole rumor about Kylie Cosmetics not doing well and rapidly going downhill. Do you think this rumor has any kind of validity to it? Or do you think that it is more of like a rumor made up by the haters or people that just hate the Kardashian Jenners who want to see them fail? And are you guys Kardashian Jenner fans? I just want to know. Just comment below letting me know if you're a fan of Kylie Cosmetics and if you're a fan of Keeping Up with the Kardashians and the Kardashian Jenners in general. And are you going to be watching the new season of Keeping Up, not Keeping Up with the Kardashians, their new Hulu show, whatever it's called? Remember, all the opinions in this video are my own and everything that I've said and heard is alleged. If you guys have any other video ideas for me, please let me know in the comments below. And you can also let me know, hit me up on Instagram or Twitter at TheIsLifey. Don't forget to take care of yourselves out there, guys. And health is wealth. Eat well.